Hello, this is Gathraid. In this video, we will mainly see how to model a perforated plate like this with many repetitions. I will show you two techniques, one using the part design workshop, which is more classic, and another using the draft array tool from the draft workshop, which is almost 10 times faster for calculating the volume of the part. We will also learn how to use a photo as a reference to build our sketches. Gathraid focuses on technology and free software, which is totally profitable for personal projects, associations, or startups. Whether it's 3D printing, machines, or programming, we always use concrete and applied examples. Subscribe and take action. If you're watching this video in English, know it's a summary and self-translated version with open source software. If you want to take advantage of all the details, I advise you to watch the original video in French novel and activate the subtitles, as well as the self-translation of YouTube, which is very effective. My daughters are redoing the layout of their room. We bought this perforated panel, which you will recognize from major manufacturers whose names I don't remember. Now, they would like to install small decorations and storage systems. I didn't want to buy from the manufacturer because I found the prices to be excessive. So, we will model our own systems and 3D print them. This is the first in a series. They would like to have a small support to place the book they are currently reading. It's very simple. A small panel at the bottom and a guide to prevent the book from falling. This is the first video. I initially wanted to make one video, but I will make two. In this first video, we will focus on modeling the panel. I will make a small memo, as I think you like this format. In this tutorial, we will see two things. How to use a photo as a reference, and scale it to build our sketch more accurately. We will also address a technical subject, repetitions. As you can see, this part has multiple perforations, and when you repeat them, it can quickly slow down the software. I will show you two different strategies, one using the part design workshop with linear patterns, and another that is much faster. The second technique uses the draft array tool from the draft workshop, and a boolean operation. In a small project like this, the first step is to model the parts we buy, such as this panel. For this, we use a simple technique, taking measurements with a caliper. I set it to 50 Mieben, took a photo, and will show you how to use it to create the pattern. Thickness is about 8 Mieben, and the total dimensions are 760 mm by 565 ma.d. Now I will show you a super useful technique for modeling complex parts. Instead of taking 50,000 measurements, we take a photo with a reference element and scale the image. This way you can use the image as a reference for your sketch. Be careful if your camera distorts the image, as this can affect the accuracy. Now I will show you how to use an image as a reference in FreeCAD. You can simply import your photo and calibrate it using a reference measurement. For example, I used a caliper set to 50 Mieber to scale the image. Once scaled, you can use the image as a guide for your sketch. Now I will create the body and place the sketch on the reference plane. We will limit the sketch to 10,000 Mieber and the dimensions should match the measurements. The sketch matches the measurements I took earlier. Now we will create a second sketch for the main panel. The dimensions are 500 mm by 255 mm with a length of 760 m and a radius of 10,000 mm. We will hide the image to focus on the sketch. Now we will create the main panel with a thickness of 18,000 mm. Next we will create pockets for the perforations. Since the number of repetitions is not the same on each line, we will create two different pocket operations. We will select the closed contours and remove the material to a depth of 15,000 mm. This will limit the computational power required. Now we will repeat the pockets using a linear pattern. 
we will create 18 repetitions horizontally and 14 repetitions vertically. This process can be slow, but it is necessary for accurate modeling. We will repeat the same process for the second pocket. This time, we will create 19 repetitions horizontally and 13 repetitions vertically. The calculation time can be long, but it is manageable. Finally, we will add a chamfer to the edges of the panel. This process can take up to 5 minutes, but it is worth it for the final result. In conclusion, this method is almost unusable due to the long calculation times. Now, I will show you a faster technique using the draft array tool and Boolean operations. This method is much lighter in terms of computation and is about 10 times faster. We will create a cube and use it to subtract the material from the panel. This process is much quicker and more efficient for large repetition. We will repeat the process for the second pocket and merge the results. The final calculation takes about 1 minute and 19 seconds, which is much faster than the previous method. In conclusion, if you have large linear repetitions to make, consider using Boolean operations and the draft array tool. This method is much faster and more efficient for handling large geometries in FreeCAD. I hope this video was useful. This is the first part. In the next video, we will model the accessories to be fixed on this plate. Repetition is a technical subject but it is important to understand when working with 3D modeling. As usual, the files are available for download in the link in the description. Feel free to share your feedback, questions, or suggestions for future videos. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.